Since the 20th century, the industry development has propelled the urbanization. However, municipal waste pollution is becoming increasingly serious. Currently, about 10 billion tons of waste is produced annually all over the world, six times the global grain output, 14 times the steel output. However, dumping and landfilling is still the mostly used way of waste disposal, which encroaches on the land, stinks, and produces a large number of pollutants such as bacteria, virus, methane, ammonia, and sulfide. Besides, the leachate produced by landfills is polluting the groundwater in the long run. Landfill is harmful to us and the later generations. So it becomes obsolete in more and more countries. Waste is mislaid resource. How to manage waste properly and transform waste into useful products in a circular way is an important issue of considerable global concern, needed to be addressed promptly. To handle waste in a scientific and environmental friendly way can not only improve ecological environment. But create economic benefits. We deliver municipal solid waste to the unloading hall, and then store it in the waste bunker. Since newly delivered waste is the high moisture content, it will be stored there for three to seven days. During that period, the huge gripper turns it over repeatedly to make it evenly scattered, and microorganism in the waste. Will help the organic waste to ferment, which makes itself easier to combust. There is a facility to extract air from the bunker and send to the boiler to make sure that the bunker is always under negative pressure, which can effectively prevent smelly air from releasing to the outside. In the process of storing the waste, moisture and organic matters in waste will filter out, forming leachate, which will flow into a pool to recycle. In the beginning. Leachate flows into the first setting tank, where the precipitate and floater is removed. Then it goes to the adjusting tank, where the effluent is regulated. Then it enters the anaerobic tank, in which the organics is removed. After that, leachate, along with domestic sewage and industrial sewage, get transferred to the denitrification tank and nitrification tank for denitriding. At last, the effluent is delivered to the ultrafiltration and nanofiltration recycling system. Discharging clean water, which reaches the Class A discharging standard for daily use within the plant, and realizing complete circulation and zero release. After storage, the waste is plunged to the hopper by the gripper and then is sent to the incinerator by the feeder. When it gets onto the first part of the incinerator, it will be dried rapidly under high temperature. When on the middle part, combustion begins and temperature there is beyond 850 degrees to make the waste burn completely, generating thermal energy to heat up steam, which is transported to steam turbine generator units to conduct power generation. When waste gets onto the final part of the incinerator. Slag falls, and secondary combustion is conducted for burnout. Slag is finally transported to break factories, and used and recycled as raw materials of construction and paving. In the process of combustion, the hazardous gases will be treated professionally and environmental friendly. When the temperature in the incinerator goes up to above 850 degrees, it only takes two seconds to decompose dioxin, and there is no dioxin produced again. Then the mixture gases get into the cooling tower to be cooled rapidly, and then are sent to the circling fluidization reactor to be treated at every stage. After the denitration treatment by the spray denitrification absorbent, the oxynitrite generates nitrogen and water. After the denitration, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen sulfide, and other acid gases go through the through the spray treating agent, generating calcium chloride, calcium sulfide, and other solid substances, which will flow down to the bottom and get into the ash bunker. After sanitization, particulate, heavy metals, and dioxin will experience absorption through spray sorbent. The remaining gases get into the bag type dust collector. Where the powder will be filtered, 
The hazardous remains in the ash bunker will form stable composites after the treatment of chelation and solidification. The composites will be sent to the special landfill to be treated. At last, the pollutant emission becomes harmless, protecting the environment to the largest extent. We have been focusing on investing and operating waste-to-energy projects, manufacturing and supplying core equipment for waste-to-energy projects. With strong technical strength and thorough service system, we render our customers with package services of professional consulting, project design and engineering, equipment supply, investment and construction, operation and maintenance. Professional and tailored solutions will be provided. By far, we have invested over 10 waste to energy projects, disposing more than 11,000 tons waste daily. Upon completion of the projects, total daily power generation can meet the demands of 300,000 residents. We actively respond to the green development concept of China's 13th five-year plan, continuously expand our overseas market and export more energy-saving and environmental-friendly equipment developed by ourselves, state-of-the-art techniques and services to more countries and regions. The quality of our products and services are praised by customers at home and abroad. Nowadays, waste pollution becomes increasingly severe. Classification and recycling of waste become an inevitable trend for the development of the world. Pollution can be effectively controlled from source to end by collecting and classifying waste from the beginning and treating it based on categories from now on. We need to take care of every bottle, every battery and every piece of discarded paper for our shared home and our only earth. Every company and citizen is obliged to protect the environment and reduce the pollution.